competition. Yeah, I'm uh, Lee Hoke. I'm from Calgary, Alberta. I'm pumped to be here. We're going to go chase some mountain goats and uh, hopefully nail one with the archery equipment. And uh, yeah, looking forward to getting going here this morning. It's beautiful weather. You guys say that hasn't been lasting, but uh, let's hope we get a few days of it here and we can knock the goat down. We're all loaded up. Keep it going. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. See you later, Cash. Good luck, man. Good to see you. Have fun. Take care. Everybody. Good. Put soak in the river, get across so we can get up the hill, find these goats. I think I see a goat. Bedded. Probably 700 yards. spotted a, a lone billy. He's in a very poor position for bow hunting. So we're gonna watch him. Okay, I'll show you. Last night we got our, all our tents set up. Uh, Good view. Uh, we watched a couple, what we think to be decent billies, uh, across the valley. We'll have to hope we get a better look at them today. Um, and we were just kind of finishing setting up our tents, and um, we just walked over to the edge 50 yards, and those three goats from from earlier in the day were bedded below on a nice cliff, 100 and 105 yards. Uh, got some good footage of it cool to watch them from that close and three goats there was a nanny and a kid and then a small billy I roughly think think he's probably you know eight inch billy three or four year old maybe younger um, looks like he's got good genetics like he's gonna be a nice billy one day um, his demeanor was still still showing signs of like a really young billy following the nanny around and running around with the nanny about nine o'clock we were kind of just chased into our tents by a pretty good little rainstorm um, wind and just it just Blew in and kind of, we just kind of all just hobbled into our tent there and um, yeah, called her a night. Yeah, I, uh, I realized pretty quickly once we got up here that I forgot my spoon. I found some tin foil and I decided to make a spoon out of it. So it's a little flimsy and it tastes a little funny, but we're gonna try it out here on some oatmeal this morning. It's not bad, man. It tastes a little tinny, but it works pretty good, to be honest. <laughs> We got a lone goat um, where we haven't seen any goats yet. Kind of some cliffy stuff. Um, he's by himself, laid out, kind of just really chill, like not a worry in the world. Just booked her across the valley bottom. My guess is we're probably about 500 yards from this goat. Give or take. Just gonna walk up to this ridge up here. He's on the same side as the side of us here, so I'm just gonna walk up there. See if I can pick him out again. I'm working on a new spoon. My my tin foil spoon was a little bit gross. 
was after eating oatmeal it worked but I'm trying to get myself an upgrade here in the mountains. So What's the word big bird? So he's uh, about 930 yards away. Um, he stood up, turned around and bedded back down facing me. I've got some photos of him. Um, he's a shooter. Good. We're gonna make a play on him. We've got these other jerks on the other side here making their way right towards him though. So I don't know, there's more eyes on him. Gonna be more eyes around, so I have to play this smart. The jerks, I mean, the nannies and kids. Yeah, no. They were supposed to be way over here. I just decided to walk all the way down the whole mountain right to where this billy is. So it's gonna get fun. So we just uh, finished up supper, got our tent set up, and uh, put that uh, billy from today uh, kind of to bed. Kind of a little bit of swing of bad luck. We had that group of nannies and kids kind of walk right into where he was bed, and kind of they separated him from from us. Um, they had a lot of eyes on us, and um, so that billy ended up walking away from us. Um, and we just put him to bed. So. Um, we're gonna get up early tomorrow and find him and, and make a play on him. He's moved away from those nannies and kids again, so hopefully he's in a good bull hunting spot. Today is September 2nd. Uh, seventh day of Lee's hunt. Uh, yesterday we stalked up on uh, a goat we were waiting on for three days. Um, he was in a little bit better position. Um, made a damn near a perfect stalk. There was a really shitty windstorm and wind was swirling and um, walked right into about 20, 25 yards right to where he was, was bedded and the wind had swirled and he was already uh, 80, 90, 100 yards above us. So um, completely drenched yesterday. It rained on us all day. Um, we dried out a very little bit in our tents this morning or through the night. Uh, we woke up and same Billy. He's bedded uh, in not an ideal spot again, but we're wet, we're soaked, we're cold. Um, we're gonna make a play on him here uh, before we pack our stuff up and head back to, to some dry dry uh, dry clothes so um, yeah let's just make it happen So here's the uh, bull that we're looking at, and the boys are going to be trying to climb up along this ridge here and sneak in very tight. The goat is just below skyline up on that far, far peak. So if I zoom in, you'll see him here. He's just bedded down right now. 
can just see the hoofs and the ear. They've got a huge wide open stalk to make. Let's just hope that Billy stays bedded. It's still a bit windy out here, so the footage is a bit shaky, but uh, looks like that Billy's popped his head up. I don't think he's seen the boys yet. He's just perched up there. Seems pretty comfortable, so we'll see. It started snowing. Wind's still blowing pretty good. Unfortunately not in their favor, but we might just get lucky. It's starting to snow. Like Billy just got up here. Gonna see which way he goes. Hopefully he's just turning around and bedding back down. The boys are still about 500 yards off here. That Billy's starting to move away on the other side of the ridge there. And it is just sheer cliff on that side. There's no way the boys can get in there. This goat has not reappeared anywhere on this ridge line. I don't know exactly where he's gone. For him, he could have easily popped over the side and just ran down through the cliffs, but definitely not an option for our boys here. He might have ghosted at us again. This guy is wily. Uh, the wind was perfect, weather was shitty, and he decided, like the, the goats got uh, like a sixth sense or something because he was bedded up there for three hours and then five minutes before we were um, gonna be within 30 yards shooting range, he just decided to get up and feed away from us and get up on another hill. Um, which made it unapproachable because we would have had to dip down and he would have seen us the whole time. Um, so he's really putting, uh, really making us work. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, uh, again, he's still up in that same spot. Hasn't moved since he, uh, like 11 o'clock. So we're just dipping out of the weather again. Pretty disheartening. Um, we've been suffering through a lot of really crappy weather. Um, Everyone's positive, everyone's like, you know, our morale's up as good as it can be. There are, there are you know, getting really wet and soaked can bring, bring a few, uh, you know, tough moments in, but um, it was definitely a little disheartening, all the work we put in. We've been on here for seven days and we're soaked and we're cold and we're sticking it out. Uh, but, I mean, nobody ever, nobody ever said it was easy, you know, so. 